Hi and welcome. I'm Jennifer Bonoff, founder of BuildYourDigitalBrand.com. Doug and I are excited to share our interview series on personal branding. Hear from a diverse group of experts on the purpose and benefits of establishing your brand. Learn how to stand out and be memorable. We're here today with Cynthia Corsetti from Cynthia Corsetti Coaching. She has a master's degree in organizational leadership, and she is a senior professional in human resources. Cynthia is a certified professional executive coach with 1,800 hours of coaching, and she has 15 years of executive leadership experience. And she was the first female vice president in a national engineering firm. So, uh, Cynthia, welcome to the Build Your Digital Brand interview series, and we appreciate the fact that you're participating. Thank you. Um, thank you for asking me. <laughs> no problem. Okay, you know, just getting started here, you know, as a career coach, you help people find their direction and take action in line with their beliefs and best interests for their future. In this process, do you think it's important for your clients to establish their personal brand and does it play a key role in the success of their job search? I think today more than ever, it, it plays a key role. There are, it, it's a very competitive market and just like anything else, it's becoming a consumer's market. So you're, you're, up against, um, you're up against people who have a lot going on. They have a lot of credentials. They have a lot of experience. And your resume can, can outline some of that. But until somebody really gets to know who you are, they're going to make decisions more emotionally. And, and it's really critical to build a brand and brand yourself and show people who you are as much as what you can do. Okay. If you had a client who had little or no visible personal branding, what three things would you tell them to do first to start the process of establishing their own digital brand? I think the first thing would be to decide who they want to be. In other words, like what is the image that you want to project? Um, you're going to take all of your skills and you're going to decide which one do I want to truly highlight? How do I brand myself different that's going to make me unique compared to other people? Um, and, and as they decide who they want to project and how they want to project, they have to decide what makes them the person, the go-to person in that. So I guess three things is decide who you want to be. Uh, the, uh, in other words, what image? How do you want to project that image? Do you want to be a thought leader or do you want to be a um, just experienced technically? Or do you want to be um, a speaker? You know, how do you want to be projected in that image and what makes you unique? Okay. And in today's competitive job market, it's difficult for a candidate to stand out to a recruiter or potential employer. What advice do you give your clients to help them stand out and be memorable? It's important for someone seeking a job to remember that the most important aspect in how you're going to perform is how you've performed in the past. So you can say anything that you want on a resume, and it's totally hypothetical. What's real is what you've done in the past. What's real are situations that you've been in, tasks that you've performed, results that you've gotten. So you want that brand and that image to show things that you did, real results and real actions, not just a list. A lot of times if you look at a resume, it looks like somebody took a job description, they cut and they pasted it onto a piece of paper, and I do this, 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 and this, and they send it in. But that is not the important thing that an employer needs to know. They need to know how you performed in the past. Okay. Now, there's a, a lot of digital assets a person can use in creating their own digital brand, including social media accounts, a personal website, a blog, and each of these can have a positive or a negative impact on someone's brand or reputation depending on how they're used. What are your thoughts regarding online reputation management, and is it something you discuss with your clients in relation to their personal branding? Absolutely. It is something I discuss with my clients. It is so important. People tend to think that their LinkedIn profile and their professional image is totally separate from their personal Facebook and their personal Twitter accounts, and it's not. Employers will check. Employers will find ways to check. Your privacy settings aren't what you think they are. Um, and I have seen really professional accountants, for example, 
lose jobs because of a profile picture on their Facebook that just was not, didn't fit. So your image and your brand, once you decide to go public with this is who I am, this is the brand I'm building, every part of you has to be that brand. So it's, if, if I'm Cynthia Corsetti coaching, I'm going to be Cynthia Corsetti coaching on my personal Facebook page as well as my, uh, uh, you, you don't get to pick because it's just too out there. Okay. And it's important. Very good. And finally, just to close it up, do you think uh, it's beneficial for individuals to create and publish content that's related to their industry or areas of expertise in order to increase their online visibility and also to help establish their identity? I think if they're good at content, then they absolutely should publish content. If they're not, if they're not somebody who has that gift and has that ability to publish content, I think it's very important for them to post other people's content, um, relevant things that they think that they're network of people will like and be interested in not taking credit for it obviously right. but i mean just sharing other things and, and relevant things not everybody can sometimes if you publish content and it's not good it could be more detrimental than publishing good content but if you have the ability and you have the talent and you have a message and you're and you want to become a thought leader in your industry publish away because it's very very beneficial Okay, fantastic. Well, I really appreciate you answering all these questions and participating here. And it's a lot of good information, and I'm sure it's going to be helpful to people who are learning about branding and what they can do to help themselves get uh, a, a substantial digital brand going. And uh, once again, this is Cynthia Corsetti from Cynthia Corsetti Coaching, and uh, thank you very much. Thank you.